also got open air cooler, really warm. Uh, this unit has a leak. Quilt has been submitted to repair it. Uh, hasn't been approved yet, so um, units once again are running warm. Um, Check the coil. Coil, in fact, is not froze up. It's got some ice. Right past takes me a little bit over there. I'll get it cleaned up. But well, I'll throw the whole thing out. So let me uh, pull this out. Show really is. All right, got the front covers off. 53 degrees. But look at this filter, man. Get that cleaned up. Get it slid out. That's just. They had a remodel, this thing should have really been replaced, but can't tell them anything. Before I pulled it out, I noticed something. This spot right here, definitely oil. Definitely oil on the floor. Uh, this one may be done for. So, original leak, this valve. Um, never approved to replace it, repair it, so now I have another leak right there. So, charge it up, see what happens. I only had two pounds of 404. Sight like still flashing. Pressures aren't terrible. Like I said, I quoted to cut that out and replace that valve. Um, you can see oil everywhere, so that's probably from getting sucked through this condenser coil. But that's a gnarly leak right there. Um, so I'll quote them a new condenser coil, uh, cut that out, replace that valve. I did perform a pump down test on the compressor and it did do fine, so I'm not too worried about it. So I'll get a quote together, but this thing is running. It's down 35, it's dropping fast. It was 50 something, it's only been around a couple minutes. It's getting down there, so I'm gonna clean it all up and get a quote rope. But yeah, that's, that's bad, man. There's a puddle of oil on the floor. I'll show it here in a minute. Right. See oil on the rail, all the way across here. Put a oil on the floor. Man's running, sight glass is still flashing, but I'm out of gas. But it's dropping. out back together 26 and dropping I'll be out for a little bit clean that out so it can breathe a little easier I'll get her loaded up put it all the way back together and get the quote submitted so I'm back in the truck and ended up writing the quote um, coil is actually in stock it's not too bad it's like 660 680 so I've got that road up I'm gonna go back in with all all RLS fittings and a flare type dryer now the reason I'm doing this is this is a historic building and in order to get a burn permit you have to go down to the county you have to have an appointment it's just an absolute nightmare to get a burn permit so I'm gonna go back in with all RLS and just be done with it um, I've used it here plenty of times it works great so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come back uh, cut out that leaking service valve cut out that leaking condensing coil and uh, rebuild this unit so we'll see if they approve it um, like I said I put in an estimate it looks like September of last year, so it held for four months um, before this uh, condensing coil sprung a leak. So I'll put an estimate together, get it sent over, we'll see if they approve it. I mean, they just did a remodel on the Starbucks like over the summer, and uh, I tried pushing them to get, replace this unit, and they didn't do it. So unfortunately, that's what happens in restaurants, you know. So we'll get the estimate over there and hopefully get to work. See you guys.